everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and I'm a big fan of the ATEM television studio switcher, which is powering this basement studio of mine. It is a very low cost device and uh, does some amazing stuff. The only problem has been that you needed to dedicate an entire computer to the task of controlling it. And just the other day, a company called Strata has come out with three new apps that allow you to control the ATEM from an iPad or an iPhone. And this is huge because not only do you uh, get to free your computer up a little bit, uh, you also get a little bit more of a realistic switching experience because if you ever used a real video switcher before, you know uh, you've always had buttons. So let's take a look at what the app does. This is the app, uh, this is the Light app. It's a $10 uh, char uh, charge on the App Store and uh, it is running here on my iPad. And it gives you some basic switching capabilities that you need while you're in the middle of shooting. And it doesn't give you everything, but it gives you basically everything you need uh, uh, to pretty much operate your own broadcast while you're doing it. So I can do a cut here and cut back to my camera. Um, I can also uh, use the little thing here and just uh, do a nice slow dissolve if I wanted to do that. Uh, it really functions pretty much like the desktop software does, except you actually get buttons that you can push to uh, control everything. The cool thing too is that while you're pushing those buttons, uh, it also updates the, uh, the desktop app at the same time. So everything stays in sync. Uh, as you are using it, which is uh, really kind of neat. So you can uh, actually operate the computer at the same time. And one of the things that I found with it is that I'm able to kind of set everything up on the computer first and then go to the app. So I can get my, if I use it in a certain broadcast or something, put my little bug down there, get everything configured the way I want to configure, and then use the iPad to switch camera positions while I'm shooting. And I found that to be a really great way to conduct my workflow. Now again, there's three different versions of the app. The light version is $10. There is a viewer, which is free, which will give you the ability just to see how it works. Uh, and it will work because it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, and the viewer doesn't let you act, actually switch anything. It just lets you see what is the active camera. And you could use it maybe as a tally light underneath your cameras or something. You could maybe get some iPod touches that you're not using and put them underneath your cameras if you wanted to be able to prompt your guests as to which camera to look at while you're shooting. Kind of a, a poor man's way to do it. Um, and then there's a pro version, which uh, if you're using their higher end devices might be something to consider. I didn't need it because I didn't need all that control. Uh, but the pro version does add the ability to control some of the downstream and upstream keyers and a few other things, but it doesn't have the ability to load in graphics and that kind of thing. So for me, I found that the, the light version really is the sweet spot. Uh, it gives you the ability to do some basic controls uh, and be able to get everything set up on the computer first and then uh, go to the mobile device to use it. So if you are an ATEM user or considering buying one, this is a great little way to control your, uh, your broadcast. This is Lon Seibin, and thanks for watching. And if uh, things get updated, I will update this review as well. Thanks again.